Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. We've got the new T-Mobile plans for small business ready to go. Looks like T-Mobile put out a press release, and uh, they revamped the plans, and they added tons of value. They enhanced the features, the capacity, the experience. I like these plans a lot, actually. Let's take a look at the deets on these new plans and what you get. Uh, there's a few different options. So essentially what they've renamed and revamped as T-Mobile Business Unlimited, you get three new options as a small business owner, operator, and account. So what they're doing is adding some new and enhanced value to these plans. They're essentially improved versions of the Magenta for Business options. So you can obviously do the Magenta Max plans through the business aspect. You can do that on that side. But now they're going to be adding some other items. So you have the entry-level plan pricing at $25 per month per line. You have the premium plan uh, coming in at about $40 per month per line. And then there's like one in the middle for $30. Uh, so again, if you want to do the Magenta Max, you know, and, and get all the things that come with that, you can do that for $45 per month per line. Uh, the best value pricing on the multi-line accounts actually starts at six lines, which is cool. Uh, previously, it was eight lines, right? So that's how you would get the best pricing per line. Let's take a look at each individual plan. So the Business Unlimited Select, which they'll be selling for $25 per line per month, comes with 50 gigs of quote unquote premium data, five gigs of tethering and mobile hotspot. In small print on this plan, it does indicate that at congested times, you will be deprioritized. A little bit of contradictory wordplay there. I'm not sure you know, what exactly is the case, but I guess you just have to try and figure it out. I'd assume you're getting deprioritized based on that, that verbiage. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, one step up, the middle plan is the $30 plan, what they call the unlimited advanced 100 gigs of premium data, 40 gigs of mobile hotspot and tethering, one hour of GoGo in-flight Wi-Fi data, five gigs of high-speed data in Canada and Mexico. I think in the entry-level plan, I think it's at 2G speeds or something like that, so that's nice. Microsoft 365 on us included, HD video resolution playback on that plan. And the last one, the $40 plan, which is the unlimited ultimate. This is unlimited premium data on this plan no deprio no slowdowns at any time 100 gigs of high speed tethering and mobile hotspot so that's pretty pretty impressive unlimited go go in flight wi-fi data travelers delight international data speeds do get a speed boost i think the other plans it's like 128 kilobits or something like that this one's like 256 it's not going to do anything for you really um both are pretty terrible but whatever uh 4k video resolution playback with this plan Anyways, those are the plans. I think if you're a small business, you know, the pricing is what gets you here. These plans are priced better than AT&T. They're most definitely priced better than Verizon. If the reliability is there, if the, the size of the network is there, you know, and the applications and the use of the businesses, I think this is a legitimate option. Anyways, I'd like to hear what you have to say. Sound off down in the comment section what you think of the naming of the plans. Let me know what you think of the pricing of each of the plans. Let me know what you think of the features that comes with each of the plans. And, and you know, kind of like the way I see it, I think the plans are competitive, obviously. Features, pricing, all that looks great. I love, you know, the, the higher plan. I think that's great. The 100 gigs of tethering and hotspot. I think the uh, unlimited deprio data is great. The premium data, the 4K video res, that's awesome. I can't wait to see a lot of these things start to manifest themselves in the marketplace. I want to see Verizon compete in the same way that T-Mobile is. Uh, I think AT&T is more similar to these pre uh, these plans and what they offer and stuff like that. But hey, let me know what you think. If you're a customer, a business customer, a small business account on Verizon or AT&T, you're considering switching here. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Uh, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new and have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.